Now to security, three male suicide bombers shot sporadically yesterday and attempted to infiltrate Meduguri via Garukimuna village, close to a military checkpoint in Bornu state. The improvised explosive device strapped to their bodies exploded, killing all of them, as well as a civilian joint task force member. Two AK-47 rifles were recovered, while one was completely destroyed as a result of the explosion. Then later the same day, there were two suicide bomb attacks in Kaleri area of Guanje. Four persons, including two female suicide bombers, died in that explosion. Both scenes were swept and rendered safe by pub for public access by personnel from the EOD and patrol teams of the command in the wee hours of today. Normalcy has since returned to these areas. Last night it was, um, it was very crazy here in Miduguri. Uh, you know, residents uh, were hearing sound of explosion and nobody was certain where it was happening. But then this morning, the police uh, have issued a statement telling us that it happened around Wenge area. And then we understand uh, that, um, you know, four persons were killed. I, they were silent about casualties who were injured, but then according to the statement, four people were killed in um, Gwenge area, and then the first attack in uh, the Munadarit area, we understand that one of the civilian GTS uh, members that tried to stop uh, the, the suspected Boko Haram terrorists died in the encounter. So that's um, what we have for now, and we are still trying to find out if uh, there are wounded uh, civilians who are uh, receiving treatment in hospital or something like that. Well, like um, the, the, the first place where the suicide, where, where the attack happened, you know, uh, that's the Monagari. It is becoming notorious for those kind of things. This is like the third or fourth time when we are experiencing either suicide attack or, you know, like yesterday's attack was uh, different. Two of um, the terrorists came with AK-47 guns, three of them actually, and then they were engaged by the civilian GKF and then the military on patrol there. So it's a strategic uh, area because it's uh, one of the satellite uh, communities living to Gamborungala and, uh, you know, that axis of the state. And the security there is very, uh, the security presence there is very high because of, uh, you know, the unique nature of that area. And then the second place where the second um, suicide bombing attack happened last night is one of the populated, the most populated areas uh, in Meduguri because, uh, you know, low-income earners, a lot of them live around us there. So if it was in the daytime, the casualties would have been actually more than we are experiencing right now.